स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी द इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सॉर्गम सॉर्गम वल गैरेज इन हिंदी इट इज नोन एज जुआर एंड इट बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली ग्रामीणी हिस्टोरिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अमंग द मेनी वाइल्ड क्रॉप प्लांट टू बी कल्टिवेटेड बाय द मैन सॉर्गम ऑक्यूपाइज द फर्स्ट पोजिशन इट्स ऑरिजिन केन कैन बी ट्रेस बैक टू द एज फार एज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड बी सी वेर इन इट वॉज ग्रोन एज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप इन इजिप्ट ड्यू टू दिस देयर ईजी adaptability they spread to the warm tropical and temperate region from their native home of africa and asia the wild species of sorghum helipensis is considered to be the ancestor of the cultivated present day form of sorghum vulgaris morphological character jowar is prim- primarily a dry land crop and exhibit morphological adaptation such as a wiry and fibrous well developed root system reduced leaf structure surface and the ability of the leaf to roll up in the dry weather it is an annual grass varying in height from 4 to 15 feet and closely resemble the mage plant in its morphological feature except that the leaves are reduced to about half the size the inflorescence is panicle commonly known as a head which differ in size shape form and color each panicle consists of numerous spikelets arranged in a pair of which one is sessile the other pedicellate the sessile spikelet is fertile but the pedicellate spikelet is staminate only and does not form seed the fertile spikelet bear two flowers one fertile and the other sterile as such fertilization of the fertile flower results in the formation of one grain only however more than one grain may develop then the phenomena being known as multiple seed seededness in india the double seeded grain jowar is known as dodania climatic condition and the soil for the growth of the jowar or the sorghum vulgaris jowar exhibited extreme resistance to dry and drought condition it is suited for growing in the moderate rainfall about 12 inches and a temperature range from 80 degree to 90 degree fahrenheit it grow best on the plain but may grow at a height of about 3000 feet also jowar can be cultivated on all type of soil such as sandy soil heavy and light alluvial soil and red loamy soil but shows best result on the clay loam cultivation sorghum is grown both as a kharif and ravi crop covering an area of about 16 million hectare and the crop yield of about approximately 11.90 million hectare cultivation of the jowar does not require re- re- require any thorough peri- peri- preparation of land it area have being the bla- black soil if the land is infested with weed the soil has to be cleared wh- whereas the alluvial soil require two or three plowing only prior to sowing the cultivation process include sowing sorghum crop is usually grown mixed with other crop example kharif crop is cultivated along with pulses vegetable crop and other castor oil seed sowing is accomplished either by hand broad- broadcasting or in row with the spacing of 14 inches to 12 feet harvesting within 4 to 5 month the grains are mature the crop is harvested by cutting the plant close to the ground and the head are separated and stacked to dry threshing the dried head may be manually or mechanically threshed and the grain separated from the calf by winnowing the stalk known as the kadavi is chopped into pieces and used as a fodder for the cattle uses the various uses of jowar are are they are used as a staple food for the poor people the grain are broken and cooked in a way similar to rice jowar find extensive use in the manufacture of industrial alcohol beer whiskey and sauce mm. the dried 
stock of the plant are excellent source of fodder for the cattle malted jowar grain are used in the manufacture of infant food sweet sorghum the sorghum vulgaris variety sacarum is used for the preparation of syrup boom sorghum sorghum vulgaris variety technicum is used for manufacture of br- brushes and broom the in, the disease that infect the sorghum plant are the disease known as the downy mildew pathogen is the sclerospora graminicola and the symptom is produce a white straw, soft downy outgrowth on the lower surface of the leaf disease rust by paxinia purpurea the symptom is produces the reddish brown purpustules appear on the lower both the surface of the leaf loose mud disease caused by sclerothic uh, sph- uh, Spherio cleothecia crenata. All the spikelets are infected, and the grains are pla- replaced by the black or sp- spore mass. Then the lo- long smut by the tolliposporum irani e- burgi. Few grains are infected, scattered sporadically. Head smut by sclerothecia rilinica. Rile- the entire inflorescence is ca- converted into a big sorus. Thank you.